boy, I really can't wait to see more Sophie Turner as Jean Grey have been words that have been uttered by pretty much nobody. But hey, she's allegedly going to be in the Multiverse of Madness, so cool. Well, apparently since every single person that's ever even talked to Marvel will be appearing in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness playing some sort of variant, why not the former Jean Grey, Sophie Turner? Now, I will say, I actually do really like her as an actress. I actually was one of the few people that liked her as her character in Game of Thrones, despite some of the flaws and, I guess, not getting enough screen time. I thought she did really good as Sansa. That's just my opinion. Again, I know not everybody likes her as an actress, but I thought she did fine. And I wouldn't mind seeing her back as Jean Grey, because I genuinely thought she did a good job when she was given good material. Unfortunately, most of her time spent as Jean Grey was awful material, just like everybody else, so I'm not going to really blame her for that. But in regards to her returning, I'm going to just say that I can see how people believe that this is going to happen, because if everything else is true in regards to what we've heard about Professor X, the multiverse X-Men having a giant fight that's going to be a giant blow-off that includes, you know, uh, Wanda fighting a bunch of the different multiverse x-men slash mutants why not gene gray like the most powerful one we've ever seen on the fox side of things like that to me 100 percent makes sense especially that the last two decades of x-men films have all been built upon she's so powerful you don't want her to show up you don't want to see what you know um the phoenix can do and then have wanda just show up and like wipe the floor with her uh, that automatically makes the scarlet witch look even more formidable so to me this would make sense and again it's one of those murky contractual things that i want to bring up here because we know that all the actors that were signed up for multiple x-men films still have contracts that either have to be paid out be somewhat honored and especially some of the bigger actors who were obligated to be getting a payday maybe she's one of those that was signed on and they're like look we got to use this just like they did evan peters so if that's the case, this would be the perfect usage of it because the storyline would call for it. And again, I really would not mind it. Like, I think she could do a great job and maybe making her a more proper Phoenix or doing something slightly different than what the X-Men movies did would be really interesting. And maybe it could, uh, I don't know, maybe it could drum up interest in bringing her back as Jean Grey full time. Probably not, though, because I assume they're going to go younger X-Men now and she's already fallen onto the quote-unquote older side of casting but hey it is what it is and if it happens i will be happy if it doesn't happen i won't be disappointed because i'm not building myself up on it and it's one of those things eh, take it or leave it either way it goes you know I, I don't think it'll impact my overall enjoyment of the entire thing i don't see a scenario where sophie turner ends up getting the andrew garfield treatment right where everybody walks away from the film going man i really want that gene gray back Although anything could happen and it could all surprise us, so maybe. Uh, what do you guys make of this?